Uh, this is called How You Bank. Sam told me you're dating again, but he didn't say who the guy is. Last time you and I hung out, Alec was there. He was talking to a girl on Tinder. Then they were talking on Snapchat. She sent Alec a POV of her fingering herself. Sam has a catalog of dick photos on his phone. He texted one to Alec, and he sent it to the girl. She said it's bigger than her face. I hope Sam's not the guy you're fucking. I'm living at home with my parents now. I sleep on a mattress planted on carpet. Mom's on her phone more than I am. She plays a game where she dresses up virtual models. She pays to expand their wardrobes. I heard my dad say he hasn't gotten laid in seven months. The last girl I slept with two years ago, when I was inside her, she asked, do you even find me attractive? John Belushi was on the screen behind her. We got sushi after. I gave her money for gas. I don't go out much. I have two friends, Nick included, who live nearby, but they're hermits too. If we do indulge in the nightlife, we'll hit up a bar or two, we'll drive home, complain about the cesspool of suburban mediocrity we're steeped in, and then head our separate ways. Even if the bars aren't a precursor to end the night, I'll go to my cousin's and get stoned and get high. It's easier to convince my mind that my hand is genitals if I'm stoned. I'll aid these delusions by sitting on my shins until my ass and legs go numb. I dispose of my genetic facsimiles on dirty nutrients. I figure, if there are aliens doing anthropological studies, they're monitoring me saying, that one is definitely effective. Or maybe I've hacked the system. I rarely write anymore. Kafka says a non-writing writer is courting insanity. I thought about becoming a monk. The Dalai Lama has a library dedicated to quantum mechanics. I was at my cousin's one night, and we watched a video on Young's double slit experiment in the observer effect. Scientists shoot photons down a tube, they're spit out, hurtled through one of two slits in a metal plate, and smashed against the board. They subject hundreds of photons to this fate. If a camera is watching, there'll be two rows of photon remnants on the board. If there isn't one, there'll be five. If the video footage is destroyed and never watched, five rows will be identified. If I hadn't searched for your profile and noticed that it yielded no results, you didn't actually block me on Facebook. I'm a oh, there's more. <laughs> this never ends. I'm a substitute in the school district where I grew up. One day, at the high school, a girl was perched on her desk. She spent most of the class engrossed in conversation, disclosing how, when her and her nigga split, she was inconsolable. That's how it was for a minute, the boy said. I had BDS. What? The girl inquired. Bitch dependency syndrome. But I'm over it. He wrote on the board, Hose ain't loyal, and fuck school. But in school, he stacked the O's like a colon. Why'd you write it like that? The fucking matter. I did because I did. Nick's a substitute now, too. He's courting a third grade teacher. When she's drunk, she'll tell him, I feel dirty, fuck my ass. He says they can list off facets of each other's personalities that they find appealing, but that's too reductive. He intimated that it's like she sees things like I do. I went to a barbecue with Nick and the teacher. A guy, Mark, was there too. He studied neuroscience. You can't describe what experiencing blue is like, Mark said. We can identify it on a color chart, but nothing says of experiencing it the same way. It could be eliciting memories and images in your brain that I've never encountered. The conversation prompted us to create a forum. We talk about adapting Cat's Cradle, but cults are prosaic and too obvious. But see, what if we're like mitochondria? Before cells were cells, a nucleus, mitochondria, and all the other stuff inside, they were all just free-floating parts, separate entities. We're a humans factor in. We're in a movie about the movie we're in. The atmosphere is the membrane, the earth, the nucleus, and humans are mitochondria. Was it Nicolas Cage in that one? If anything, stars are mitochondria, galaxies are nuclei, the universe is the cell membrane keeping everything inside. He was. It looked boring. If there's billions of cells in a person, belief, what's it building? What's that one cell part of? Voided fetus fluids, vaginal discharge. It's slow at first, but it grows on you. So does Meryl Streep. What's the difference between the two? Mark posted a video on my wall the other day. It elucidates how nanotracers can identify harmful chemicals in water. One nanometer is one billionth the size of a meter. A double helix is two nanometers. Developers hope to one day attach magnets to pernicious bacteria so nanotracers can preemptively collect and dispose of them. I scrolled down the comments. People extrapolated that this is evidence for how, in the near future, 
genetics, robotics, and nanotechnology, or GNR, will aid in endeavor to equip our bodies with an automated defense system. Nanomachines will eviscerate and anticipate all ills of internally and externally induced malignancies. They'll grant us access to the entirety of the electromagnetic spectrum by altering how light is registered and magnified inside the brain. Nanomachines will enhance our neuro neurological computational capacity by converting the internet into an auxiliary module for our brains to sync up with. We'll all be savants, adept in any field of study at a moment's notice. Apparently, this transhumanist future, future will also afford us a means to dredge the depths of another person's consciousness. Could I jump into your head and know the source of your equivocation when it came to us, days after sending me an unsolicited photo of you in your underwear? The same night you asked me to pick you up from the bars, you wretched on the curb, and when I dropped you off, you said, I was going to say you could stay the night. Can I know what you felt when I told you I wanted to carve out my heart and feed it to you? What you thought when I left the baby tooth on your doorstep a month after our dissolution? Would I understand why you're unresponsive? Why I can't discard you? Some people think the advent of emerging GNR technologies will widen socioeconomic disparities, bring about Armageddon and or engender robot overlords. At Nebu Lost City 45 thinks, they'll incite a new epic of human evolution, wherein we cease to concern ourselves with the trivia of human theater. We'll be a singular entity, a repository of information pervading and infusing ourselves in every molecular and subatomic sub constituent comprised in the megacosm. At Wizard74 thinks, Technology evangelists postulate that GNR will facilitate a trajectory towards a universe aware of itself. A single cell, sundering from the molecular cohorts, leaping from its petri dish onto a counter in a research facility and dead within minutes. The lab technician doused it with disinfectant when they noticed it strewn and crawling along their workstation. At Baby Bron Bron, Money Sign Money Sign thinks, gay. Thank you.